Hello again. In this video I'd like to discuss a little bit about my journey spiritually and politically. I uh, spent a little bit of time in the last video talking about um, becoming more of a humanist and how my journey to becoming a humanist activist. I'd um, like to talk a little bit about these other two subjects as well. Um, spirituality. How do I become an atheist? Well, I was pretty much raised as a cultural Catholic. Um, went to Mass more times in my life than a lot of people that consider themselves practicing Catholic. Um, but also, growing up, um, parents sent us kids to a uh, Assembly of God's church and basically I think it was more of a way for them to have some alone time on Sunday mornings without the kids there but be that as it may um, but it was there really that planted the seed um, of my doubts um, some of the stories even as a six or seven year old kid just did not make sense to me. Um, a lot of people point to the Noah's Ark story as being the big seed. Um, to me it wasn't. Um, it was icing on the cake and I'll get into that too but the big story for me was the story of Jonah. Um, even as a kid, I knew that it was not really feasible to be swallowed by a giant fish and be able to live for three days. Um, no sense whatsoever. Um, as far as the Noah's Ark thing, that's even, even another level on top of that. Um, big boat, all those animals, one window, how are you going to feed all of these animals, what are they going to eat once they get off the boat, um, there's not going to be any vegetation because everything's died, what are the meat eaters going to eat without killing off an entire kind, so that didn't make a bit of sense. I just that story, how anybody jibes with that one, I really don't know. Um, so, anyways, that was kind of what planted the seed of doubt. Um, pretty much spent most of my life as more of a deist probably until about the time I was 35 I figured there had to been something out there but you know it was about five years after that that it just slowly crept up on me it's like you know and before I could actually use the word atheist and just kind of figuring it out. And so it's, you know, it was about time that I was 40 that I actually got to the point of being able to use that word. Um, I've never been one to be militant about it. Um, you know, if you say Merry Christmas to me during the holidays, I'm going to say Merry Christmas. I'm not going to be, you know, um, but anyway, politically, as I have gotten older, I have become much more liberal, which is a little bit strange. Generally, people tend to get more conservative the older they get. Um, 
don't get me wrong, I'm very conservative on some issues, um, but as far as on how people should live their lives and you know what you do you know I don't care what you do in the bedroom I don't care you know as far as anything like that goes very liberal um, I would mostly most closely identify as libertarian but not agreeing with all of the platforms, not all of the planks in their platform. Um, there does need to be some government involvement in day-to-day -day life, schools, roads, that type of thing. So I don't, I would consider myself completely independent with some libertarian leanings, but, and one of the things that, especially in the last 10 years or so, or probably longer than that, probably, probably 15, that really has bothered me is that as our culture becomes more and more diverse, our politics have become more and more polar. I mean, you either have to be a Democrat or a Republican. No. Um, we need all kinds of involvement from all types, um, politically, religiously, whatever. We need more Muslims in office. We need more atheists in office. We need more Buddhists in office. Um, and any of the, we need Green Party candidates in office. We need libertarians in office. Um, check out my video excluded from the presidential debates to see my thoughts on this a little bit more. Um, but as, as far as any of that goes, I think that we all need to be involved in the process. Um, just letting things slide is not an option at this point. We need to have everybody involved and we need everybody represented and we need to work together to to make this a better place to live. So anyway that's kind of my journey as far as those two subjects go. Um, I will see you again. Um, you're not going to get rid of me. I'm trying to help in any way that I can, trying to, trying to improve things because I'm not easily dissuaded. So anyways, um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, leave any comments that you may have. Um, always appreciate any comments, um, good or bad, I don't care. I'm not going to, you know, block comments because we all have different opinions. And that's what I'm about is discussion. Um, so, anyways, I will see you again. And until next time, see ya.